John, the big match, uh, Spurs, Manchester United at Wembley. Yeah. It was a hell of a game, John, uh, and it makes uh, Oli Gunnar Solskjaer start a record. He's the first Manchester United manager to win six on the trot. In fact, I think he's the first to win five on the trot. He's done well since he, he arrived. Yeah, he has done well. He could, you couldn't ask him to do more than he's done, I mean, uh, I mean you, you would have to say he was very fortunate with the fixture list that yeah. he had ahead of him. Uh, I think Manchester United were clever in what they did, to be quite honest, I mean, I think they were a bit worried if they left Mourinho there and he could get good results in those matches. Yep. It'd be very hard to sack him. Yep. But, uh, no, you couldn't ask any more of, of uh, um, Solskjaer since he's gone in. Now, the thing I detect more than anything, John, and you're right about the first... Um, four games in particular, and of course, Reading in the FA Cup at home. Mm. Uh, the thing I detect most uh, is the the players aren't afraid anymore. Uh, there's a, a bit of swagger about them, and uh, of course, you know uh, the the way he's used uh, Marcus Rashford as an out and out centre forward left Lukaku on the bench, left Sanchez on the bench, and there's a freedom about them. Uh, they look like they're enjoying football. Now, that old cliche, we want to play football with a smile on their face, is, is, is uh, it's a bit of shorthand, I think. Yeah. For, he's liberated them. I think, for yeah. example, if Mourinho had gone to Wembley yesterday to play Spurs, they'd have been very tight at the back and concerned, first of all, with not conceding. Uh, they didn't play like that yesterday. They had a plan to exploit uh, Spurs' uh, system. It involved using the pace of Rashford uh, and Martial uh, and, to a lesser extent, uh, Lingard. And for 45 minutes, it worked. Well, they played well for the first, for, first 45 minutes. I, mean, I, it, I think it's... I think it's a situation in football that when the manager goes, which they obviously hadn't been getting on with, I mean, to say the yeah. least... That the players now obviously have a freedom to do it because in Mourinho's case, I mean, I think I spoke about we spoke about it before. I, I think I made a list of ten players that he fell out with yeah. and, and criticised publicly. And the, 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 they have a saying now: he's lost the dressing room, and there's no doubt about that. I mean, players are human, and you can't get the best out of them if you're humiliating them publicly. Yes. And so that's the start. I think in, in, in Solskjaer's place, he seems, he seems a, a likable lad. Yep. And when you do come into a new job like this, of course everything is rosy because you haven't fallen out, out with any of them and, and he's not likely to fall out with them. And I think from the player's point of view, I think they really want to show, Eamon, that it was the manager's fault. Yes. You know, that's, that's, that's a natural thing with players. They think, oh, well, okay, we, he's gone. Uh, we we'll really, we'll really, really start playing now. So Mourinho was his own fault. The way he handled the situation was bad. And Solskjaer has come in, I think, as being ideal for the situation they're in now. Uh, now, what, how long it's going to last, Damon, or whether he's going to get the job in the future, we, yeah. it, it, it remains to be seen. But if he gets the job for the future, it becomes a different job altogether. Of Damon. course, yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Because now you do... Now you do have to fall out with players a little bit because you've got to leave them out of the team and a lot of players are not going to be happy. So it is, it is a, a honeymoon period that he has made the most of, there's yes. no doubt. I mean, but if I hear a smile on your face once more, Eamon, <laughs> I'll scream. Okay. I, I, I think we talked about it before off the air and I might, I might not have said it. I mean, in the old days, the great days uh, with, under Ferguson when, when Scholes and, and, and Keane in particular... Yeah. <laughs> right? Did yeah. you ever see Keane play with a smile on his face? Not really. Not he really. had a scowl on his face all the time, eh? yeah. because he was never happy with what was going on. Yeah. So it's a, it's a load of noise. But, but it is a cliche to say, well, the players are happier with this guy than, uh, Solskjaer, than they were with Mourinho. There's no doubt about that. And in the first half, they did play well. Spurs, Spurs actually looked tired in the first half. But in the second half, I mean, Spurs were brilliant. They were, and, yeah. Like, yeah. And, Punch you know, it. they were brilliant. And, and if, if it hadn't been for De Gea, who's, who's, who must be the best goalkeeper in the world, actually, they would have got a hiding. Yeah, they would. I mean, Pochettino said after the game that the second half performance by Spurs was the best 45 minutes in the four and a half years that he's been yeah. at the club. 